Snow Sky appeared to show improved form in the Hardwick, obviously a terrific performance. Uh, what would you put that down to, do you think? I think in part it's a sort of natural progression. It's what Michael Stout does best in terms of bringing uh, in more immature horses on to, to, to really bloom as, as four-year-olds and older horses. That's, that's really one of his absolute trademarks. So he fits, he fits that bill. Do you think he was particularly well suited to the <coughs> tactics that day or did that race just pan out that way? Do you think those sort of tactics will be repeated this weekend? I think for the hard week, we, we, we discussed the race obviously beforehand. Pat Smullen had never ridden the horse before. Uh, it didn't look like there was much pace in the race and we knew he stayed because he'd, he'd, he'd obviously stayed in the Yorkshire Cup and so therefore it was important that there was a reasonable pace and, and so given everything we said listen if, if there is no pace don't be afraid to go on uh, and he, he, he sort of timed it to perfection really, he cranked it up and, and really had them pretty stone cold by the turn. Yeah, he quickened well, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. He showed a good turn of foot and, and they, they, he wasn't really coming back to them at the end either. So it gives us, I, I'm sure other horses would run different races given the circumstances, but I, I, I think we'd, we'd still run a pretty decent race, however. And um, difficult to put the two races in isolation in terms of this weekend coming, but yeah. um, do you think those sort of tactics might be those that you employ again? Well, again, I, I think that'll be judgmental um, for, for, for Pat. Uh, on the day and how, how the race pans out but certainly I, th I think if you've if you found a, a sort of tactic that works there's no good reason why we wouldn't. Flincher uh, what a terrific performer he's been for you. He has been I mean he's been reliably consistent or, or consistently reliable I mean he really has um, he's, he's, he's been honest and genuine uh, and he's, he's one of our he's one of our top performers. If you look at his form recently with a, with a number of placed efforts, you, you know, one might be forgiven for forgetting the fact he's won two Group 1s. Yeah, I mean, not many horses win a Group 1, let alone two, and he's won uh, over 4 million euros. So I, I think, I think we'd, be, we, we'd be hard pressed to swap him with anybody. Uh, but he's certainly, he, he's run up against the best. Obviously, he's been beaten by Trev twice. Uh, and, and so that, that marks him as a, as a pretty, pretty top-class performer. What aspects of this weekend's race do you think might suit him? I think several things will suit him. I, I think the pace will be a decent one and he, he thrives on a good pace. I think Andre has always said that he, he likes a right-handed course uh, and so he qualifies there. But most importantly, he likes fast ground and, and I think it'll be fast. I hope it'll be fast on Saturday.